Hi, my name is James Blake. I'm a uh, local artist here in Gettysburg. I'm an artist in the uh, traditional genre of Native American arts. Uh, I reproduce a lot of things from the 18th and 19th century. I work with a lot of different museums here in Pennsylvania and around the country. Uh, our artwork is known around the world, or international. We work with a lot of artists here at the gallery. Uh, we do modeling for these gentlemen and, we, and women. We reproduce items for their paintings that they use as props in the paintings. And I like to go through a couple of these pieces and show you and just talk about them a little bit. This piece right here is a hunting pouch and it employs two different techniques. So this is called finger weaving. It's a type of art form. They would use wool yarn. They would get from the Europeans. Uh, sometimes they would get trade blankets, perhaps, and unravel that. Or they would get the yarn and bolt and use that. And they would weave different things up, like bags, garters, which is a type of ornament that went around the leg. And this right here is called porcupine quill work. Uh, these are quills from a porcupine that Native Americans would get and use natural dyes, and they would dye these things up and they would try to apply them to the leather with different embroidery techniques. Uh, this technique right here you see is commonly called the zigzag technique. And this little tiny line work, which is what that's called, line work, they would use sinew, which is a muscle from an animal, deer sinew, elk sinew, buffalo sinew, and they would use that to sew this work. This piece right here is a nice piece. Uh, this is porcupine quill work done on birch bark, white birch. Uh, very common item from the 18th century. They would make a lot of this for the Europeans that came over here. Uh, the Europeans would buy these items as curiosity and proof that they were in North America. And they would take that back to Europe and show their fan, friends and family as proof that they had contact with Native Americans here. This piece right here, these are called Bagataway sticks, and they are the primitive form of modern day lacrosse sticks. And since I'm from Gettysburg, Gettysburg College here has a great lacrosse program, and um, I thought this would be cool to have for the show and to promote Gettysburg College too in lacrosse. And lacrosse was originally a Native American game uh, created by uh, Native Americans, and since then it's gone through many changes and it's come to the form as we see it now. And today it's a lot uh, less violent than it used to be. We used to call this game the Little Brother of War. It was a very violent game. Sometimes men would die, uh, injuries. Um, a lot of time big wagers were done on these games. Like we bet on different types of sporting events today. Native Americans would also bet on the game. And this is a very nice piece of a cherry knot that we carved, cherry, piece of cherry, and we carved it into a ball. It has a lot of good texture. And uh, Na Native Americans would use different types of woods for different things. Some things would be, um, uh, they would work well with things, like if they were making a bow, they need a good wood that's strong and flexible. Or if they're making a burl ball, sometimes they would look for the beauty of the wood. And they would use burls, like cherries, or maples, or ash, and it becomes a lot of different grains here. Very beautiful wood. It's hard to find burls big enough to work, but uh, when you find them, it's a good treasure.